What if you could travel with a fraction of the carbon footprint of a traditional plane? Imagine gliding through the skies with little to no noise. Better yet, why not board your aircraft without having to navigate a large airport and all of its associated infrastructures? What does the future of air travel hold in store for us in the coming years? In today's video, you'll discover the most recent changes in the aviation industry as well as how your flying experience will evolve in the next few years. But first, we're giving away $100 to one of our random subscribers. All you need to do is watch the entire video, leave a comment with your greatest takeaway, like, share, and lastly, subscribe. So without further ado, let's get started. Transportation has recently overtaken electricity generation as the leading source of greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. Furthermore, carbon dioxide transportation technology, particularly for shipping and air travel, is still in its early phases. This accounts for a substantial amount of emissions and is crucial in terms of carbon transportation infrastructure reduction. Ever booked a flight during peak hours? What was the first thing that came to mind? Air travel has a reputation of being congested, uncomfortable, and expensive, particularly during high seasons. Nevertheless, it also greatly contributes to the greenhouse gas emissions that cause climate change. The phrase airship refers to motorized vehicles that float because they are filled with a lighter-than-air gas such as helium or hydrogen. The most common types are blimps and zeppelins. Airships were used to transport bombs during the World War I, and they began transporting people in the late 1920s. In 1929, Germany's Graf Zeppelin performed a full circumnavigation of the globe, split into four parts, beginning and ending in New Jersey. The journey took 22 days and carried 61 passengers. By the mid-1930s, transatlantic passenger flights became common. Airships do not require gasoline to lift them off the ground. Rather, they require it to push them forward. Because it was inexpensive and plentiful, hydrogen was initially the preferred lifting gas as it is also lighter than helium. If you need to go sightseeing, airships are the ideal aircraft to use. In reality, modern technology zeppelins are being deployed for this purpose in Germany. A huge airship might be an excellent choice for a relaxing journey. However, it is to be expected that the cost would be somewhat expensive. The weight of water is a major disadvantage to airships. Last year, Elon Musk tweeted a photo of a blimp drifting over the sky. He said that blimps are awesome and then showed an image of a blimp flying over the sky. When viewed up close, it looks to be a Goodyear air balloon flying high in the sky, similar to a blimp. According to Matthew Iglesias, creator and editor of Slow Boring, he was hoping Elon suggested that he might consider starting a blimp startup. He also mentioned that Elon Musk's magnificent airships would be ideal for low-carbon intercontinental transit. However, Passenger airships may be making a comeback and more than one firm is betting on it. Ocean Sky Cruises, located in Sweden, is presently accepting reservations for excursions to the North Pole in the 2023-2024 to season. Ocean Sky Cruises CEO Carl Oscar highlights various advantages airships offer over airlines, including environmental sustainability, he noted that when comparing airships to planes, the possibilities are remarkable because everything is lighter, cheaper, and simpler, which opens up a lot of options. Airships have fewer moving components and do not require a runway to land or take off. They're far more roomy and can transport larger and heavier cargo. In the thought of 16 hours of stiff back, knee crunch, parched air flights makes you cringe. Imagine something more similar to a flying cruise ship, your own room, a bed, a restaurant and bar, and perhaps even a glass-floored observation room where you could see the landscape below drifting past in glorious detail. Is all of this worth the fact that 12 hours of travel turned into 60? Airships travel at one-fifth the speed of aircraft, 
and 20 knots against 100 knots. And despite its high cost and scarcity, helium is currently the preferred lifting gas. Sergey Brin, a co-founder of Google, has also founded an airship firm. The major declared goal of lighter-than-air research and exploration is to construct ultra-cheap craft to be utilized for humanitarian missions. Because of the aforementioned absence of runways, airships are a viable and feasible choice for transporting goods to remote and difficult-to-reach regions. To that aim, Barry Prentice, CEO of Canadian business Buoyant Aircraft Systems International, plans to employ airships to deliver pre-built buildings for schools and residences to distant areas of Canada where roads are insufficient. And earlier this year, the French airship business Flying Whales secured $23 million in funding from Quebec government to manufacture cargo-carrying Zeppelins. So how come airships are ascending back into the sky after such a rough ride? When compared to marine cargo transportation, some experts believe hydrogen-filled balloons are a more sustainable option for carrying the gas. According to the researchers, airships would take less energy and time to supply fuel than ocean-going cargo ships. How is it even possible? Their plan is to fly in less chaotic stratosphere and take advantage of the jet stream, an air circulation that circles the globe from west to east at speeds of up to 140 miles per hour. You could be wondering if this isn't just history repeating itself. The research explored the use of autonomous airships, which eliminates the need for a human crew. They also made some persuasive arguments about the hydrogen debate. While helium is safer, it is harder to get and has a significantly lower supply than hydrogen. As a result, its price has risen. Another advantage of employing hydrogen would be the ability to generate electricity and water using onboard fuel cells. However, the threat of fire is not the only issue. The air pressure is lower at stratospheric heights. This necessitates the use of ultra-flexible materials in the design of the airship gas bag. The problem is that these materials are not yet complete. Someone is already working on this arrangement in the interim. Buoyant Aircraft Systems International is researching hydrogen-powered airships to transport produce, construction equipment, and modular houses to Canada's many off-the-grid communities. Their airships will be hybrid at first, then converted to a hydrogen fuel cell-powered system to suit the Arctic temperature conditions. Lockheed Martin already provides an airship transport service utilizing helium rather than hydrogen. Their LMH-1 hybrid model maintains altitude by utilizing 80% helium buoyancy topped by aerodynamic lift. Lockheed Martin hybrid models use less than 10% of a helicopter's fuel by minimizing the use of fossil fuel-driven direct lift. Furthermore, thanks to an air cushion landing system, their vehicles can be parked on any type of terrain. The ACLS is a massive inflatable donut beneath the blimp. That makes airship landing a breeze. It also works well as a hemorrhoid cushion. Their versatile hovercrafts are now capable of a variety of cargo missions after 20 years of development from delivering heavy equipment to hard-to-reach areas in Alaska, hemmed in by icy roads to picking up workers and rare earth metals from isolated mines in Quebec serving as a flying clinic for transporting aid and tons of supplies to transporting the injured from accidents and refugees from natural disaster sites. Fortunately, this could happen soon. As calls for climate action become stronger and the cost of airships fall, as the cost of any new technology tends to do over time, we may find ourselves traveling back in time and being transported across the world by huge helium-filled balloons. How do you feel about flying on airships? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. If you like this video, check out these other videos.